Hi, this is Charles again with some more assembly tips for bolt action. Um, I found that if you do a squad at a time or a team at a time as you build your squad, um, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, one thing I'll do is I'll pull out the NCO and four rifles or five rifles, whatever the squad consists of, the arms and the weapon and lay them beside them. So as I'm building it, I'll lay the um, the uh, weapon here, and a weapon here, and the arms here, and kind of keep it all sorted together. And then I'll do the left arm first, as depicted in this picture here. And then I found that if you do the rifle next without the right arm, and then you do the right arm. Now the reason I found that's easier is that when you're doing the right arm first before you do the weapon, it's hard to get the weapon underneath and if you have shaky hands like me I found that it's just a lot easier to do the left arm first and you have about 30 seconds before this glue dries so you can re kind of reposition the arms after you get everything situated but uh, it, it sure is a lot easier just to drop that weapon right into his hand there and then throw his left right arm on top and then you're done another nice thing to do is if you uh, write the unit types on the bottom um, it can help you uh, identify those units later on or as you're building them. So before you even do anything, just write all the uh, the squad information on here. NCO, uh, if you want to do SMG, you, know, you can write SMG on there if you want to, but uh, you can usually tell by looking at an SMG versus a rifle. Um, and all the different rifle types, you know, I've written on the bottom here in case it's hard for me to identify during the game. I could just pick it up real quick and look at M1G for Grand or C for Carbine. And another thing I highly recommend is uh, army paint. Um, it took me about 10 minutes to do all these units, and um, I got all inside all the nooks and crannies, and there's no real um, mess to them. You can see how clear it uh, dries on, so it looks really good. Now, it's called Army Painter. It's about $15 online. Uh, I got it for $11, I think, from Amazon, but it's really good. And... Uh, Another thing I highly recommend is this paint, or this, I'm sorry, this cement, liquid cement by Model Masters. I've been using that for all my models, and it kind of glues the plastic together, which is really nice. You'll also want an X-Acto knife to trim off the uh, parts that are kind of, um, you know, you can get one like this really cheap. Or you can go out and get this one. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. I kind of like the plastic one a little better because it's got a little more steadiness in the blade. This one sometimes comes a little loose. Just have to tighten it up. I think that's about it. Oh, also, um, I ran out of bases. I had about four guys left, and I didn't want to waste them, so I just used quarters um, upon a recommendation of a friend. And it works good. It gives some nice weight to it. And so um, once I flock them, you won't be able to tell me the difference. But um, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed the video assembly too, and have a good night.